As part of its Protection of Civilians mandate, the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, UNMIS, has launched a massive road safety campaign in the capital, Juba, targeting motorcycle taxis, locally known as border borders. For these border border riders, plying the Juba streets without vests and helmets has become a way of life. Still, they do it anyway, transporting people around the city for a living. Exhibiting their best behavior, they have arrived early at the start point of a road safety campaign, but clearly ill-equipped. Today is a big day for each of them. They are being kitted with safety helmets and reflective vests at the start point of a road safety campaign targeting close to 3,000 who ply the country's capital day and night. 1,500 safety helmets and 1,500 reflective jackets will be distributed. Among the mostly male taxi riders who have arrived for the launch of this road safety campaign is Susan Jamila Abdallah, one of two women who courageously goes about her days in this male-dominated field. She uses her income to help raise her late siblings' four children. For both the Boda Boda riders and Anmis, this citywide campaign is a first and it is expected to raise the stakes in road safety countrywide. It's very, very important for us to have an uh, element a reflector. So in case of accident, so it protect. Together with the South Sudan Boda Boda Association, ANMIS has been conducting various workshop trainings with different motorcyclists aimed at saving lives on the road, while at the same time reminding cyclists on the need to respect road safety signs while maintaining speed limits, keeping safe distances and ensuring the roadworthiness of their vehicles. As part of the training, cyclists also had the opportunity to learn about the role of the UN mission in the country and the importance of every individual in maintaining peace. The land of South Sudan youths are being used uh, in, in some places where we don't get peace in it. So as youths, as we express youths, uh, our right in peace today, we're going to see that there's going to be peace in the land of South Sudan. For each of the riders, a lap around the city brought back the attractiveness in their lucrative industry. Every border border man can just ride where there is peace. If there is no peace, no one who can just ride. Joining in in the fast motorcycle ride in the city, the head of the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, David Shearer, said he enjoyed the ride and would continue to support the road safety campaign and the border border cyclists, as without them, the city would come to a standstill. It's about protection um, I and mean, protecting civilians. I mean, you know, we're protecting civilians in conflict, but also protecting civilians on the streets. Um, and if we can make people uh, have a safer experience on the back of a motorbike, then it's, uh, it's, it's good for everybody. It is hoped that this maiden road safety campaign can be replicated across various regional capitals, and as a result, the youthful male and female border border cyclists can help influence and inculcate a culture of road safety and peace countrywide.